Good afternoon and happy Friday to all of your sunshiny faces. Oh, guys, I actually, okay, I did laundry today. I did dishes today. I, like, got stuff done for the day. And um, then I also, too, made dinner for tonight because my mom had leftover chicken, um, chicken patties from last weekend. So I just, it was only my mom and Jack and my dad were here. So I just, there was four left. So I just threw them in the oven and there was one left over. And then there was some leftover spaghetti and pasta sauce. So we just had that for dinner tonight. Um, I had just some of the spaghetti and I put Alfredo sauce on it because I love Alfredo sauce. So I had an extra can um, in the, or an extra jar in the pantry. So I just whipped that out and had that for myself tonight. And I would probably... Um, use up the la the leftover can like during the week but um, that was for dinner tonight so I did cook today even though I normally don't cook on Fridays I went to the grocery stores I went to Valley Produce and Caputo's and I did awesome guys I bought all produce with the exception of I got about five dollars or so worth of deli meat um, and then I also got four bags of pasta, um, which was 69 cents at Caputo's this week. Um, so that was like, again, probably about $3 or something like that. So I spent about like an extra $8, um, with the exception of everything else was produce this week, um, just at those two stores, but I ended up spending under $30. And if you figure again, it was probably close to like $25 worth of produce for this week. And I got a bunch of produce, not maybe as much as I normally do, but I feel like I still got a lot. I got, um like eight apples um of the like honey crisp apples too i got um what else i'm trying to think guys i got a head of lettuce i got a two pack of romaine i also got three uh Rom roma tomatoes i got a seedless cucumber i got two packages of organic grape tomatoes that i'm going to do more dehydrating with as well i got um a head of cauliflower i got a head of broccoli or like a sock of broccoli um, I also got, I'm trying to think, <laughs> now I can't think off the top of my head, but I got, like I said, oh, I also got a pineapple and a cantaloupe and I got, um, like I said, I got those apples and I also got, let's see guys, cause we're, we're in the kitchen anyway, why not? So might as well <laughs> check. Oh, I also got four, um, I got a bundle of, uh, Brussels sprouts. I got two bags of green grapes in here. You guys can see this was on, is almost eaten already. Um, I got four red bell peppers. I got a three little zucchinis and I think that might've been all I got. I got, like I said, the two pack of romaine. I got a head of lettuce. I got, what else is back here? The cauliflower, the broccoli, like that. And then, like I said, that was probably like under $25. I spent in total under $30 between the two stores and like I said, uh, $8 of it was probably towards the, the pasta and then also the meat. Um, and I'm not doing any freezer dinners this week because I, there really wasn't anything on sale. I think I told you guys that yesterday. I really didn't have any chicken or anything else that was on sale. So I was like, you know what, we've got enough in the freezer. I don't have to worry about it or anything like that. And on top of that too, I also got chicken Kiev last week and I found an extra one in the refrigerator. So I was like, okay, well that's five chicken Kievs. So that'll, can be dinner for one night. Um, and then I, um, uh, we did, like I said, the leftover chicken patties tonight, and we're going to do deli pizzas, I think, for tomorrow. I actually think my parents might go out for dinner tomorrow, um, and so um, I think we're going to get deli pizzas from Aldi, which are, I think, $5.99 or something like that, and we have the leftover, um, the mozzarella sticks or like cheese sticks that my mom got um they're taking up room in the freezer, and I don't like having extra stuff in the inside freezer because, like, it, I need to use it up and it takes up extra room and stuff like that. So I want to use those. And since she got it to make, have with the pizza from last weekend, she didn't make them. I was like, well, why don't we have pizza this weekend? And then um, we can have the, the cheese sticks as well. So I don't know. We'll probably do something like that. Or if they do end up going out and like, because Matthew has to work. And if it's just going to be me and Jack, we might maybe then save the pizzas for tomorrow or something. So, um, yeah, that was, that's the plan, but I'm also going to get two, um, things of strawberries and uh, what else at all be, I'm going to get two things of raspberries and also a thing of oranges. So that should be $30 or like $25, I think 
right about worth of produce for this week. Um, so I think I did pretty good for this week in produce wise. I, like I said, that's like 25 or so dollars, 25, 30 bucks. That's like about, uh, an eighth of the grocery budget for the week. Cause it's normally about $200, but we stay well under almost every single week, unless it's like a crazy busy week. Like um, the Super Bowl week, like, where there's a lot of stuff on sale and, like, a lot of deals that I want to do. Um, but normally what I'll do is it'll kind of, like, accumulate. So, like, if we had, like, from last week we had $8 left over, so we have $8 going into this week extra, so we have $208. And so, like, in the future, like, normally that builds up. But because I had done so much, like, of that, what we had built up, I spent so much of that over, like, the holiday baking and everything like that is, like, where all the extra money was coming from, pretty much. And so that, like, didn't, um, that used up a lot of that. And so I hadn't really, like, gotten to the point where we were under again. Um, just because I do a lot of the grocery shopping. And so I kind of, like, in the back of my mind have a budget and everything like that. And basically, like... Yeah, I do the grocery shopping and, like, don't, I'm not in charge of, like, our house finances or anything like that. But, like, because I can just find the deals and it makes it easier for me to do. And everybody's like, well, if you can do it and get all this groceries for, like, whatever you pay, you know, and stuff like that. You know, I'm like, just take me to the grocery store. So, like, every once in a while, like, my mom will be like, can you get some of this? Or, like, Matthew and Jack will be like, we need these snacks or something like that. And I'll be like, okay, I'll keep my eye out for that kind of stuff. But for the most part, it's just kind of like, again, just like the stuff I find that's on sale will end up getting and everything like that. So, I don't really keep, like, my dad keeps all the money, but I know in the back of my mind, okay, Kayla, be under $200, you know, try and be under even less than that, but I made my Walmart list for this week, which is going to be close to $100, but the thing is, I'm going to be getting close to $50 worth of that back in app rebates, so um, it'll only be about 50 bucks, and then we should have, like, another maybe 50 or so at Aldi, because, again, I don't have to do any freezer dinners for this week, so we really just have to get, like, a couple little staples or things we're out of or whatever, milk and coffee creamer and coffee I think we're out of and a couple of other things, so we should be, like, under $50 between those two stores, I think, so we should be, like, honestly, I want to say hopefully $50 under budget this week would be awesome, <laughs> so, um, yeah, that is my, my goal. Um, but because, like I said, we'll be spending the $90 at Walmart, but I have, um, for one, I've got a coin jar on the bottom, the floor of my room that's been sitting there for, since, like, I started couponing, and I've never cashed it. It's all grocery money, but it's all the change. That was, again, back when, like, my dad would give me the money and be like, okay, you go to, like, the store, like, my mom would take me or whatever and stuff like that. I also found $80 in my wallet that was also grocery money at one point. I didn't realize that it was in there. And so, um, it was just, like, $80 just sitting there burning a hole in my wallet. <laughs> and it was, like, my old couponing, like, wallet coupon booklet thingy. And so, it was in there, and I never realized it. So, I just, like, not even paid attention to it. Now, all of a sudden, I was going through there and found it and was like, oh, my gosh. So, we put that money towards, like, what we're going to be spending. And then, when we get the money back with the ab rebates or whatever, I can just cash those out and then use that money again and just keep rolling that kind of money. And so, like, again, if it is, like, $50 out of pocket is you're like a hundred dollars it's always going to be like fifty dollars back but we don't have to spend that because we already have that like again that's for money we didn't even know like existed so that's like the awesome part of this but um i planned for this walmart trip in all honesty though once i get to walmart and once i start shopping normally i can't find half the stuff that's on my list um because either they don't have it or like for whatever reason so more, more than likely, um, I won't get probably, like, at least one-third of what I'm planning just because, again, sometimes they might have it out of stock or I can't find it or I decide, like, in the middle of shopping, I'm like, you know what, forget this, we don't need that or something like that. But for the most part, there's a couple of things that I really do want to do and a couple of things that I'm like, we'll just go and check and see if it's really worth doing it or not. So, yeah, I got... Like I said, like last week, I was planning on doing a different deal as well on crackers. They didn't have the kind that I needed. So I was like, okay, forget it. Then we'll wait for the next week because it was still good for this week as well. So I'm going to see if they have them this week. And if they do, I'll do the deal. And if they don't, that's like $15 I don't have to spend. The Lance Snack Crackers, like the packs, but it's like the multi, like the 20 pack, which is like $5 I had to buy 
three and then it should get me a 17 and then I should get four dollars back from that so they'll only be like four dollars for the big 20 pack which is even cheaper than getting the smaller packs of, that are like a dollar at the dollar store and that should honestly hopefully be like at least like two or plus months worth of like crackers like kind of snacks that can go towards that so that will be less money that then we have to spend on like snacks and things like that because honestly that's probably where the most money it seems like goes in like grocery shopping and stuff like that honestly it doesn't even cost that much money to make like meals but like with Matthew and Jack it costs them I guess less money to take their well yeah I guess especially for Matthew Jack I don't know he got free lunch I don't know if he does anymore or maybe he still does I think he does but um Jack gets lunch at school part of his like lunch program but Matthew doesn't so he brings his lunch and so like he always like we need snacks for his lunch or for my dad's lunch too instead of like my dad will go to Subway and spend like five plus dollars at Subway every single day whereas if I can get like snack stuff for like the week for everybody under that plus obviously for the house and like for our you know just like daily eating and stuff like that and then also for their two snacks um for or like for lunch lunches and stuff like that instead of Matthew like two he might spend like five dollars at like lunch for like lunch stuff and uh, you know that type of thing and so that's like ten dollars and if you figure that's ten dollars a week for two lunches times five days out of the week that's fifty dollars if I can keep snack stuff and like I said the deli meat and the bread and like you know that type of stuff is cheap but obviously they always want snacks to eat with it and like my dad's really good about bringing apples or you know nectarines or plums we have that kind of stuff left over and so he's really good about bringing that kind of stuff but like seems like Matthew eats everything so he needs like extra snacks and stuff like that and um especially so we always make sure like if I can keep again like snack budget under like you know right around 30 to 40 dollars it still would be less than again them buying lunch for the entire week so um again you kind of got to weigh like okay you know we spend so much money on this but weigh the you know the difference of okay well if we didn't though you know and Matthew's either going to be hungry at school or else you know he can get lunch at school or you know he can bring his lunch and I can hopefully keep it less you know or have less money here um and the other thing is too they always take leftovers my dad always takes leftovers Matthew sometimes takes leftovers he's not super keen on doing it he normally makes a sandwich but like I said whatever works for them um and if it's stuff we have but like I said my dad is like he always takes leftovers and we always have dinner leftovers which is really good so um that type of stuff is like I said good to have um on hand but we you know like I said I need to find deals on it because if not it is it is expensive to have extra snacks and things like that um and you know not again I told you guys too I was like I try and go like as natural or like as basic or like make my own granola bars and that kind of stuff which I love I love homemade granola bars but you know like that type of thing is I feel like more difficult and it's more time consuming too sometimes you also have to weigh the pros and cons of okay this is gonna cost more money but it's gonna cost me less time so that type of thing I mean it just depends on what works for people different people and stuff so anyway so guys yeah I am gotta get in the shower and it's already late <laughs> which I'm not happy about and I do need to finish up just a little bit of my list um and I have to clip a couple coupons because I'm going to try and take a couple coupons to Walmart which I'm scared about um and then I also have to finish too I forgot my Menards I already like starred everything I just have to actually write it down um or add it to my list and then go to the store tomorrow so We'll see guys, um, like I said, normally I plan bigger and then it drops off a little bit, but they had an awesome rebate on Ibotta where it was redeem nine rebates and you get a $5 bonus. And I was like, I can do this easy because a bunch of rebates that are like gonna be like with the rebate will be under that. So yeah, I can, I can work that out pretty well. I already have like 20 something I think rebates planned but again normally I don't find everything that I plan on going in there to get um so yeah anyways though I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys